knows the title. Damn. Damn. He's oh. Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Make it stop. She needs polls for a robbery for able. I don't know. I've never committed a robbery. On a farm. Sensational. <laughs> With the ism awesome bricks, and we keep forgetting that because of the type of leadership that we have. Oh it is a transfer God. market. Because Ilobola, Bryce, your release clause. Sensational. The prenup is a release clause. Sensational. The church right. is the new strip club now. Ow. Church is where you go to throw bands. Sensational. People who go to therapy are usually the worst human beings on planet Earth. That's the problem with these people that they go to therapy. Is they want to press what they learn on other people. Oh you did it for yourself, you didn't do it for us. Hey, 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 hey. Let me mansplain podcast. Hello. I just think, hey, I send you in Buffett. Except, guys, I we in we are in the dog, bro. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that because I'd probably trigger some hillbillies because them niggas are actually literally in the dog, in the right? dogs. Oh, you nasty! <laughs> <laughs> Those niggas are literally in the dog, but I, right, bro. Oh my god, are, are we are we super fucked? Like, you know when things just go wrong from all angles and you can't just piece it together, bro. Yazi. I South Africa, bro. There's too many things going wrong. Ah, yeah, yeah. Wait, and just... Leo. Ah, bro, there's just so much. I'm and just there's... looking at the double standards. And there's civilians who can't do shit. Bro, the double standards. Like, Umsholozi did not get... Umsholozi did not have such solid things against him. Because this whole Gupta thing, bro, it was media. Niggas were telling us about this. This man hey, is... Bro, this man got caught with <clears throat> how much mil under his bed? Four. I'm, I'm sorry. Four I'm sorry. million dollars. This guy is not a billionaire. They're lying to us. He's not a billionaire. Damn. No billionaire is the stupid. Damn. How do you get caught with money under your mattress and you're president of the country and I must take you seriously? Doom, doom, doom. I, mattress. Right, this guy mattress. All right. And on the, on the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, bro. It's a friend. It's a promo post. Hey, we don't say names. It's all alleged. Legend. I don't know that nigga from a post. Oh, but he did that shit. Sensational. Oh, cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call him? Cupcake dog. I'm sorry. I need to know why do they call him cupcake? That's a bit. Of his a his late. He had a. He had a nyati or a slay queen or a little thotty he was fucking on the side. Damn. And she used to call him cupcake. They were texts that were revealed. On, on emails. And she and used stuff. to call him cupcake. Yeah, that was his, yeah, that was his code word. His Ross code word. Clot. What? So sad. He has learned to my chances like them, 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 them things that y'all be saying about uh, niggas' pops. What's he, he's fun. Like, I'm fun on a 50. Straight up, straight up. Nah, they were, they were uh, using uh, code uh, names. The reason code names because it was like on email, so I forgot. He also had like other code names that were cupcake, Paul, cupcake, wow, woman. Now, cupcake, it's better than my real name. Yeah, but... No, I thought Bro. they were playing on how he looks. Because... Oh, Never mind. Hi, bro. At least the food with some strength. Uh-uh. Call him a nose with some cupcake. strength. Damn! Raphael. He's oh. Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Make it stop! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, his head is shaped like that. That's gonna be a fool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sensational. I hear he does look like it. Now that I think about it, bro. He's a nerd. Hey, Mara, anyway... What are we going to do? Like Wesley said. You know what we can do? Nothing. We can do. get a young consultation from Ukoko. Did you hear? I was watching you guys. I was about to watch a thing from Ukoko. Oh, pretty nice. No, Koko Maweni. 
She was hey, ah. people were up in arms, bro. Let, let's just start the pod. <laughs> let's start the pod. Going too deep. All right, all right, all right. I already thought we started when we said uh, we were in the dog, but I going too deep is not what we want to do there. So we will welcome you, one and all. You already know what it is. You know what it was. You know what it's always going to be. The world's most sensational podcast. Sensational. With yours truly, Fia Bavaria in your area. Dropper of jewels and isms and everything good alike. Make sure you pick them up and don't waste them. Because mm. when it's bent over, you can always taste them. Mm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Mm, mm, eh? mm, mm, Sis. Mm, mm. And I know she How are they going to taste you when your pants over? Ha! Gay! How are they going to taste you when your pants over? Come on now, niggas. Now you're interrupting my flow, niggas. Come on now, niggas. Come on now, niggas. Come on now, niggas. Come on now, niggas. Don't question it. Just accept it. That you're getting your bully leg. He said it was gay. So what? Ay, abo na ga. Ay, wait does it come from? Kids is SA. Ay, bo. Ay. Like Hi. groceries, boy. Sensational. Stop that. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, bro, groceries are expensive, bro. That's Check actually us. a commodity. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, man? You know what, man? Again, I want to reintroduce you to the world's most sensational podcast with yours truly. Fear Bavaria, the nicest, way higher than gas prices. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You already know, man. Planted. It's your bring of truth, <laughs> drop of isms. Let's get it, man. Ahu. <laughs> this guy. This is Wesley Sniper shooting from a distance like Roberto Carlos. I give Kai Nido and he said, You can't come in. It's all about the pop up. Let me just play this weed. Yes, sir. And as always, this is the Let Me Mansplain podcast where everything, 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 <laughs> everything goes just as long as you can mansplain it. Shush. <laughs> Yeah, yes, I'm thinking about it. Could this just be the biggest cover up? Yes, what's a cow? What is cow? Guess Zul. Cow in com. Could this just be a cover up for a sex trafficking ring? If we in com are going for 1.8 million. Because I know cows that going for that much. Context, please. Yeah, what are you talking about? Cow is in com. In com means cow. But Nkomo also means pussy. So this code name of cow could be implicating something completely different. Context, please. So our listeners know what you're talking about and us too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, so, so a president has currently been implicated they they found. Oh, please, can someone remind me how much under the mattress? Four million US dollars mattress. Four million US dollars under his mattress. That's the ghettoest thing ever. You're a president of a country, not Raekwon from from down on the block in the trap house. But anyway, man's in the bando. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing with four mil under the mattress. That is like the ghettoest thing ever. Not even Bitcoin. Not even not, mattress. Stupid anyway. I have a little conspiracy theory wow. about that, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Me too. Me but, too. But now the source is here. Now, because South African media think we're idiots, they're trying to play it out like he got this money legitimately off of game sales. And I don't mean game as in the ism that we dish out on this podcast every week. Sensational. But I mean Game as an animal. Now you're telling me that you got four million dollars in cash. You didn't declare it. There's no tax paid. Nothing of the sort. And you sold out cows and game 
to get this money. So you're telling me niggas showed up to your gate with four million stacks in cash. Don't lie to us, bro. Don't lie to us, bro. That is a that was a kickback alleged. That was a kickback alleged. Allegedly, putting on the tinfoil hats for those of you who know. But now I'm saying, there's no way a cow is four million dollars or cows are four million dollars cash. So this this could be a double meaning for a cow. It may not be the one that goes moo. It may not be the one that makes a series of other noises. <laughs> so we never know. I'll just leave it there before they cut me again because government's on my case 24-7. I'm trying no. to get what this cow mean. No, he's saying, what, what this man is saying is that even though, okay, he is not explaining it properly for, for those of us who don't know what's going on. So basically they say, or uh, you you can jump in when if, if I'm messing up. So basically what he's saying is that the president says that he paid, oh no, the president had $4 million cash underneath his bed, allegedly, right? So allegedly they came in and stole all that shit. And then now he's claiming, was he claiming that cows were, were the price of like, were a million each? He said it was, he did say it was proceeds from game sales. But which exactly. which cow is worth four million? What kind of cow is worth four million, Doug? Hey, bro. Sorry. And bro, that it gets sticky because you're supposed to even like a lot of countries' foreign policy. No way. So you can't before, leave. Before we get there, before we get there, did he say that it was a cow? Like you keep mentioning a cow. We're wondering why you keep yes. saying cow. Yes. Okay, Pella, if he yes, says dude. it's from it's from proceeds, then pala, it's, pala, he sells pala, cows pala, 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 in Japan. Yeah, he, he said it's from his farm that's where the pala pala scandal comes from it's proceeds from sales from cows game animals livestock of that nature of which and you guys a cow was, you guys, was pushed for like a million plus but you guys should stop saying allegedly because nigga there's a video i've seen it there's a video of the niggas breaking in and then they take this shit and leave there's like a video so there's no nothing alleged here why is there a video of- hey 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 you cover those those fees yourself, Machi. We out here trying to show. <laughs> but there's a video. Why is there a video of people video. Stealing? stealing? Is that security camera or? Yeah, CCTV oh, okay. of, of, of Pala Pala Farm, bro. You can see them going into the farm. Then you can, they even have ladders. They had uh, poles that they were using to break into wind. Bro, they, they, these people were prepared. Wait, wait, wait. My, here's my tin for your head. Here's my tin for your head. What? Okay, yes. These niggas, were these niggas doing like some Olympic pole vaulting shit? What do you need poles for a robbery for, Abel? I don't know. I've never committed a robbery on a farm. Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. Men had to en- enter that. Uh, oh, on a farm. <laughs> on a farm. <laughs> to be specific. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, yeah. That's very important. So... Here's my tinfoil hat. Yes. When was the Nadal? If you guys remember, when was the Nadal, uh, Roger Federer, Trevor Noah match, Bill Gates match? Do you remember? I that was probably 2020. I remember the exact, I remember the exact date. It was the 7th of February in 2021. I think it was right after we were coming off of the pandemic. When was the yeah. pala pala? When was the pala pala thingy, my Bobby? When people went into there, broken and got the money. Two days later, on the 9th of February, twenty twenty one. God, hear me Man. out. Hear me out. Here's my tin foil. I think I think people are already catching on to what I'm talking about. But here's my tin foil. A billionaire comes into the country, and then all of a sudden, money is stolen from the from the highest. Uh, 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 serving office in in this in this country, oh Ganjan, how did they know that the money was there? Ganjan, bro, mind you, another thing that I you've mentioned, Bavaria, monetary laws don't uh, or commerce laws don't allow you to have more than two hundred and fifty thousand rands worth of foreign currency in another country. In South Africa, you cannot have two more than two hundred and fifty thousand rands worth of foreign currency in cash. That is, you can have it in your account, but you can't have it in cash. 
So oh, how did they even leave the states? How do you even leave the states? Because they flag you at the airport. Like it's a whole. You feel me? It's a whole sophisticated operation to get cash of that magnitude bro. out of the country, bro. In the UK, you can't bro. leave with ten pounds. Can't leave with ten pounds. One thousand pounds. Easy. So this bro. nigga had four milli. Four milli. Aye, bro. Aye, they lying Aye. to us. Aye. Aye. And this time around, bro, I don't know. I don't know what the purpose was for him. You see, the thing is with Cupcake, Cupcake can be a little stupid. Damn. He opened a case of robbery and theft. And then he goes and catches the people who had who had robbed him. Bro, if I'm going to catch the nigga that's, that had robbed me, why the fuck would I tell the police? Why would I tell the police? What's the point? I don't Man. get that. That's the part that I'm missing. Like it, 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 it yeah, bro. I'm telling the police. I'm I saying, really think. You know, he's telling the police because he's saying, "Go get it for me. Go fetch." That makes no sense, bro. If you're a billionaire, but it makes you no have, sense. You have, you have, you have, you have access to capital, and you probably you're private. Your private security, and you, you can hire private investigators. Oh, bro. Way more competent than our cops. Which brings me to the Thank point. Thank you. That I don't think this guy's a billionaire. Niggas, I don't think this guy's a billionaire. I think he's he's a billionaire in, in quotation marks. They just say it just to make him feel good and look good in the public eye. I don't think this man. <laughs> I is not, bro. I is not, bro. I'm sorry. Any man who can stack four four million dollars under the mattress and get caught with it like it's a that band. That is of, some stupid shit. That's, that's some stupid not, shit. Bro. That's not. That is not the the financial acumen of someone that can make a billion. That is, but just that's what no it, it shows you though. But it shows you though that is some hush money. It's some it's some envelope money, bro. bro. It was bro. it was money that he allegedly. was trying to move quick. Wait, wait, wait. But allegedly, chance, but chance, I really don't. Okay, I really don't believe it was literally under the mattress. I feel like that's like a metaphor for what the money was actually for. Bro, bro. I really don't I believe bro. it was under the mattress like that. Bro, they found. The money, it, it wasn't a mattress, it was a couch. Another thing, it was a couch, but it was. But people keep saying it's a mattress because they, they're trying to be funny because they're saying that he was sleeping on this money. Abo. So, Ooh, that's my a, thing that's is, a best metaphor, though. it is, but bro, it is real. They the niggas went this nigga, the, the there's one nigga from Namibia, he went and bought a GTI like two days right after that. shit Umchita went to the GTI, went back to the Kali, bought his mom some good ass, nice shit. He, he did some real nigga shit, I ain't gonna lie. But they caught him and then they had to bring him back here. And he used Ilokuzan at the presidency in Namibia to get this nigga back here. He called the president's office. Pro- and Namibian, Namibian son, I think it's the Namibian son, they have been pressing this matter more than our own media. Yeah, I've Mind seen you, that. I just want to make that. that. I want to point that out. They've been yeah. pressing. Yeah, because our niggas, our niggas are, are compromised, bro. It's already. Yeah. But you know of what? You course. know what? Oh, bro. The, and, and the fact that they compromise is it's the fact that most of our media houses, from the witness, sun, the sun, EWNCA, EWN, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's all under multi choice and Nespers. And Nespers is owned yes. by Kurs Becker. There's a whole video on it, dude. Like Nespers and the Reuters. But, but here's my thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's my conspiracy theory about this whole thing. You know, all those farm killings. Is this what they were really after? When, when those farmers were getting killed, I think it was like 2019, the white farmers getting killed. Uh, and they were acting like it was some racial attack. Different. That was something different. Nah, Honestly, that's, something different, different. that's another that's thing, different. though. What that's if another not, thing. Because what, what if it can be a factor to or a factor that contributes to it? Nah, because this is a long nah, thing with land. This is about the Section 24 with regards to land expropriation yeah. From, from, yeah, man, that's a different thing. My thing and another thing, thing, poor killings have been happening for years. It's just they don't get reported on. I just want to point that out as well. Yeah. Let's, be bi- let's be bipartisan and point it out that a lot of boys get killed, like, monthly, bro. It's real. Facts. As, Every a lot of people get killed. Not really. Just that's what I'm saying. As if it's supposed to make a difference that they white. Damn. Yeah. Sometimes I don't like that. Um, sometimes I don't like that thing where you're going to point out one specific group. But it's I, I guess from a forensics point of view, it's concerning when it's a co- super concentrated area of crime. It's just to show what's going on behind it. But anyway, 
you know what I really think is happening with this money? I really think it's when 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 Cupcake sat with Gates and Gates was like, hey, <laughs> push this, push this vaccine. Here's this new yes, strain. Yes. Hit the yeah. block with this, man. Hit the block with this, man. And he was trapping. So obviously yep. Daddy Gates gave him the, the, the stash, he gave him the product, he gave him a couple keys, and then the man was forced to push it. Now, South Africans, we're not buying it. Hey, we're not buying it, bro. Hey, we're we not really buying it. Now, really then know. the man tried to say, oh, we can go to stadiums. Bro, we ain't even going to stadiums like that unless Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs are playing anyway. Then bro, the man came you. with it's the- that. It's that and also the distractions on top of that. There were so many um, almost distractions that we didn't even want to contribute to. It's like the national shutdown, the failed national shutdown. I remember I got up for my yes. job that morning and then everyone was sitting up to prevent stuff. And I'm like, guys, nothing. Okay, it was only in Hammersdale where they prevented looters, where taxi drivers and the police stopped uh, people from looting. But other than that, nothing ever happened. We, there's so many different distractions that they keep trying to throw at us to try and take it away from him, which is what happened last year. Because remember last year when, when Uzuma had that whole thing and the whole damn city went to Enkanja to go support this nigga. Seven days right after this looting and, and chaos and, and all that shit. It's all a distraction. Facts. And this is the thing, bro. This has always been about the vaccine. The vac- and this is where I'm going to let the 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 the, 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 the blood clot uh, uh, conspiracy theories come in, allegedly, bro. This man who had a mandate to push the vaccines, and he failed, and KZN yep. was probably a targeted thing. Even with this rain, this cloud, because I've been hearing about cloud seeding. Remember how was it 2020 or 2021? They found diamonds all over KZN. And then the government did this weird thing of saying, no, those diamonds are false, but please return them anyway to us. If those diamonds are not worth anything, why are you asking for them? And then why is there suddenly UN military presence in Cape Town and KZN after diamonds were found here? What the f- Suddenly now there's rain, there's immense rains in KZN that's destroying everything. And then also in Cape Town, it's all of a sudden. And this is, I hate sounding like, you see, this is why I don't like speaking about these things without the full scientific knowledge and talking about cloud seeding within its entirety because now I sound like a, a tinfoil hat motherfucker. But I, man, there's some dodgy, dingy shit happening. It's all thanks to AI, but hey. Hey man. But another man. thing, As, another man. thing. I wanna here's another tinfoil hat, and I'm going to wear my tinfoil hat. I don't give a fuck. Fuck cupcake. I hate that nigga. Damn. Anyway. Whoa. Yo, yo, I, yo. I don't yo, like yo, him. Yo, He's a bitch ass hey, nigga. Man, He's a bitch ass man. nigga. That's that's what he is. He's a bitch ass <laughs> nigga. The rest, the rest before we to rest, rest. But anyway, all of the presidents, um, I, I and I'm alluding to something that you pointed out, Chip, very way. You said that he had a mandate and he failed at it. Now, all the presidents, yep. we can go down the list. All the presidents who, who either uh, were opposed to vaccines from the get-go or took hush money but just didn't even give a fuck afterwards, all of them went down. Another example, there's two presidents that I can bring into as an example. The, the Haitian president, Velegi, he had a little bit of scandals and, and whatnot, but when... When it was time for 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 uh what's these things these these injections these vaccines in 2020 nigga came out and said uh-uh that's the one thing I'm not I'm not taking from the West De- like dead hands down I'm not taking it from the West two months later homie died and they said that he was killed by the same uh, armed regime that was in his country that had been fighting against him for the past five years of his presidency so they can't get to me for the five years that I'm in my presidency, but the one time, that one period in my life where I sit down and, and, I, and mind you, he was heavily guarded. Everyone was heavily guarded during that time because everyone was working from home. My, but anyway, another president, Umar Gufuli, right? Uh, Umar Gufuli came out nine in Tanzania, said, I'm not, oh, Tanzania. United, United Republic of Tanzania, Tanzania. Oh, yes. Umar Gufuli Gufuli, came out yes, nine yes, nine. yes. Came cook, out boy, 99 cook. and said, I don't cook. want this shit. He, he mm. denied coronavirus. He said it, it doesn't even exist. 
It's some bullshit that's been cooked up in labs. And now they're forcing us to take these, these things that are going to f- kill us in the, in the future. Next thing, homie dead. Homie dead. Yep. And that's, that's a great way to silence people, A and B. We know that we have a gullible president. So whenever money is thrown his way, like I feel like these people literally, they, they asked for help just to, to keep it in their pockets. It's the craziest part, the 500 billion or the supposed 500 billion that's was supposed to come Bruh. through. Because that's another conspiracy theory that the 500 billion wasn't A, 500 billion, and B, it was a bribe for the vaccines. That's literally what it was. That, that's well, what, so, that's what and, they allegedly said. And you know say. what? You know what? You know what? For, the, for, the, for stuff like that, when it comes to the, 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 the monetary policy and imperialism, bro, it's not even that deep of a conspiracy. We see it straight up in front of our eyes. The World Economic Forum or, or the, 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 what? What's this other thing? I will keep to the World Economic Forum for now. The next will use words he don't really know. Yeah, it's peace. Yeah. A lot of these entities, man, and these international banks, they're doing W-H-O. this on purpose. To stay... WA... No, not yet. Yeah, WHO, I see that one, but it's the other one that, that, that <clears throat> lends the world money. I can't yeah. remember what it is. The, 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 the letters escape me. Hey, sometimes these abbreviations makes these things sound like some BDSM thing. <laughs> but yes, they are finding new ways to fuck us anyway, so it, it fits. <laughs> Sensation, but... Sensational. No, listen. It's already, it's already known fact that they give us exorbitant loans we can't afford with our money, mind you. Because another thing that's messed up is that if we go to Britain to, to borrow money, they don't they don't give us rands. They give us British pounds. <clears throat> and they will give us the credit for it. And we're still going to have to print all that money. So we sink ourselves even more with, with inflation because we print that money that they lend us, quote unquote. And then we can't repay them shits. And then obviously when we can't, uh, okay, they come through looking Damn. for evergreen contracts and minerals and all that. You know, so, low key, yep. Low key is like we trade you on a barter system. Like, no, 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 we have the money. It's just we're not going to show you. We're just going to act like we have it. Like, they literally say, hey, I have this amount. They just drop a number and say, hey, I'm going to give you this amount and then give you a digital number that you have to print for yourselves. It's the weirdest shit on earth. Money doesn't exist. Bro, bro, it does not. bro. It's the weirdest bro. concept. And then, and then they, and then they kill you with credits. That's how, that's how loans and whatnot. Like, we, you end up looking at the fact that what's in a, they charge you 72. And here's the bank. The bank is smart. They write off your credit. At the, the, the minute you take the money out from them, or they give you a loan, they write it off on their side. Meaning what? They can go and claim it from their insurance company. Because they, they don't know. They don't have an insurance that you're going to pay that money back. So by the time you pay your money back, they've already got their money that you gave, that you, that you said you were going to give them. And you, mind you, they also get your interest on from the money that you gave them. And they get the money that they've already claimed or written off. So three times off, you get ripped off. Also, also, the matter of fact is, I think, man, our ancestors knew something we didn't. There's something that ain't right here. The fact that we consistently give real wealth, and that- land, minerals, animals resources for paper oh. wealth which is a representation of it is that's a funny one and the fact that they killed Gaddafi for wanting to have a gold or resource-based currency and an african union tells me everything i need to know and that's wow what, everything i need to and that's where i was going with that one too because russia i was gonna say you know russia is actually showing us could say they're tired now they're tired of acting like okay it's fine bro, now fuck it bro let's let's do it mind. fuck <gasps> this shit yeah, that's what we, they we, they've been so deep. We're so deep. No, bro, I, I need to say this. I'm sorry, but this thing of, oh, we stand with Ukraine. Uh, bro, them Ukrainian niggas would be just as racist as my, uh, bro, I ain't losing no sleep. I'm, I have bigger problems to worry about. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, this nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. Oh, I have bigger problems to worry about. Now the Americans and the British and all the Westerns are going to tell me I must be... <clears throat> Crying for Ukraine. Aye, right, bro. I have bigger problems. Bro, they, about. Let's like, cry about Mogadishu, bro. Let's talk about Mogadishu. Let's talk about Somalia. Let's talk about what's happening Somalia, in Zimbabwe. Let's talk you. about Nigeria first. Talk hey, about the, Ukraine. 
Get the fuck out of here. Bro, European. The Russians rode for us, bro. They rode for us, bro. I Putin rode for the man. Real shit. They rode for the man, bro. We're the S and Briggs. We're the S and Briggs. And we keep forgetting that because of the type of leadership that we have. Mm. And, and, mm. and Cupcake, dog. Cupcake keeps throwing us, bro. Cupcake, Cupcake is an agent, so I'm telling you. He is. Cupcake He's is been a, an agent. He's the Vlad of Bruh, Cupcake is Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> Straight up. Uncle Ruckus, Bra- yeah, Uncle, that is not a good one. No, 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 not only Uncle Ruckus, he's like a fusion how Uncle Ruckus and that, and that black nigga from Django. Make it stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, Samuel yeah, L. Yeah. Jackson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mm. the house too. And nigga mm-hmm. pandas to the master, no lie. No lie, that man Iron Man, Iron Man, hey, bro. That man, Iron Man sucks ass, bro. The way, the way the man cried, like his daddy died when they shot him. Man, and and this is why, man. When I say we're utterly fucked, yo, we're so fucked, bro. We're so fucked. And you know what's another thing that's so fucked about this money thing? I nigga, the way niggas think about money. I bro, I've been, I've been, my eyes have been open the past few months. We've been starting doing business with an investment banker, man. And the way this man talks about money it makes me realize that something is incredibly wrong with South Africans. Let me tell you something that you you don't that you don't know. Uh, Louis Vuitton, God, Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Burberry. You probably know it, but you don't know the actual company. Louis Vuitton, Burberry, uh, 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 Gucci, LVMH, Giorgio Armani. Yes, LV, but me, LVMH, that whole group. Yeah, we know oh, those wow. bro. <laughs> the shades, oh, the shades they make, the shades that you buy. They're all made by Luxottica. L-U-X-O-T-T-I-C-A. All of them are made by the same thing. And that's the same one that makes the Mr. Price ones, the H&M ones, the Ray <coughs> ones. But you, that's, not, that's <coughs> not new. That's not new, though, in this, like, that we know it's, they know how to get shit for the cheap and then just paint whatever brand they want on it and sell it back to us. That's common knowledge of capitalism. Man... And, and this is why and I was getting to that point that we don't even have to dig so deep with this conspiracy theory stuff. Just the stuff that we've been accepting as normal is just mad. It's mad, Jay. There's too many things. But you know what? Let me not be Malcolm X, man. They shot that nigga. I'm trying to live life. I'm trying to live life. But no. Hi, one thing I've noticed, being too revolutionary without niggas who are ready to be revolutionary, yeah, you'll, you'll die for nothing, bro. Bro, for the I tiniest of things, like for the smallest of things, nothing. bro. Like I, I was thinking about this in life. For this, you stand up for something. For the something so tiny, something so small, and no one will stand with you. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Everyone has been conditioned from jump. And when people bro. like to act, people like to act as if they they don't follow the rules or whatever. But they don't know that they don't even understand that they've been conditioned. It's like Americans; they don't understand that they act like white people towards Africans. <laughs> So they've been conditioned so much to racism that they don't know that they kind of do like a reverse racism on us, on, on African people. It's like it's like how with the Drake album, they all say, oh, it's so horrible, so horrible. I'm like, how oh, about you, you don't dance. Like, <laughs> you yes. want us to do the dab. You want us to do the milli rock. You want us to do the, the, <laughs> the, the, the woo walk. Bro, you know, you know, this whole thing, yeah, and, and you know what, Drizzy, Drizzy as an artist, bro, Drizzy is probably one of the, is going to go down as one of the greatest of all time because his ability to spot a wave and ride it, bro, hi. He did it better than Sierra. Sensational. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, know, you know what I love about this Drake album? I like that he doesn't give a single fuck. He does not give a shit. Like, when, when I first heard that he was dropping the album, I was like, ah, it's okay, cool. He's dropping another album. I'm not surprised because views wasn't, I mean, not views, was CLP certified number four. It wasn't really that that dope. So I was like, understandable. It wasn't. And then I see Black Coffee's producing. All right, okay, sure. I wake up in the morning. I I see the 21 Savage feature because after I listen to the intro, that's I know. And I saw it was dancing, that's I coffee, dance. I know exactly it's going to be a house themed album. Skip to the 21 feature. Fire. 
complete fuego. Fuego. Then <laughs> later on when I go out, then I hear the rest of the album when I'm actually outside in a setting, like in a real setting. That shit hit me like a motherfucker. Like even the sad ass song, like, you know, the typical sad, sad Drake song. That shit hit me and I'm sitting there by myself. I remember I was waiting for someone to pull up and I'm sitting there by myself, like listening to a song like shit. It's wait, 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 wait. Question. <clears throat> yeah. The person you're waiting to pull up was like, yeah. I am actually asking too many questions. Sensational. <laughs> but no, no I... because because what most likely this is what happens, bro. You never listen to Drake pre-game. Because what's going to happen is that you're gonna listen to Drake pre-game, and by the time it's time mm-hmm. to play, now you're even doubting if you want to be thinking about existential crisis now. Which hey, I don't even want to play anymore. I want something serious. No, I don't know. I know. I want to <laughs> sign a new contract. I want a long-term contract. I don't want to be on loan anymore. Nah, but it's different though, oh, yeah. because this album was <laughs> it's different because this album was upbeat. That's what I'm saying. So I was actually outside and I heard the songs. Where's my phone? Ty that's what's that song? Ty that by what's something that's something. Wait, hold on, let me find the name of the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ties that ties that, Tie that binds. binds. Yes, I was right. <laughs> Tie that binds. That's Abel. When I heard that shit, I was like. Oh shit, Ganti, he's hitting high notes here. He has a source. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. This is for being number one outside. But I also hate that stereotype that people are like, the people that don't like this album don't have never been outside. Minajit, personally, this is a very big fuck you to everyone. This album. It's it's supposed to be it is the, the name of the album is supposed to be honestly, Yagan. Sensational. Honestly. How? How? Because ah. it's just like Fusekan, no, it should, just, it should just be called Fusekan. He doesn't give a shit, and that's what I like. That I'm like, okay, if you're gonna do something different, just throw it out there. Don't prepare us nothing. I actually prefer it that way. I like it, but as a South African who's especially as a South African from Durban, because we grew up with Deep House, it's a bit weak though. I won't lie. Weak. Oh, it was weak. I'm sorry. That's the part that I'm like, okay, I get the fact that he can he's at the point in his career where he can do whatever he likes. And Vele, he's he's he has that trademark. It's his thing to be able to jump into different um aspects or genres. Because even in hip hop, he does it with drill, he does it with with southern hip hop or Memphis hip hop, not southern, let's go Memphis hip hop. But he does it well. Does he can he can he can you know he, he's a he's a he's a he's a musician, he can meld or dwell. Cool, but this I ain't gay. I saw it was weak. The, the, and the only thing that saved it was the fact that it was produced by Black Coffee. I'm sorry, that was that. And I think there's oh, a point. Another thing, another thing that saved it is that he married 23 women on one of the music videos. Man, that's sensational. Sensational. And that's Tristan, a lot of love to give, man. And Tristan Thompson was his best man. Sensational. Bro, oh, and man. he had a handshake for each and every one of them joins a different <laughs> one. Can you, you, even you a think free he YSL. All... Ah, damn! Ah, you didn't Hi. see it. Hi. Ah. You see it. Sensational. Ah. Ah. Sensational. Sensational. Ah. Jesus, ah. what a knockout! Ah. What a knockout joke! Yo, <laughs> I lost all my energy. Yo. <laughs> hey, Yo. I got energy. Got a lot of energy. Got a lot of people trying to. Yo, ah. I know, nah, nah, nah. Sensational. Yo, as I was trying to. Hmm? Very. I know, sensational joke, sensational. Nah, but the the video the video was kind of dope. I don't watch all of it, but it was funny. But you can clearly see this guy doesn't give a shit anymore. He does not give a shit. And I'm glad he's like, even if you guys didn't like it anyway, for Sagan, I don't care anymore. Like, it, and bro, me, you see his response? When niggas were like, the response is like, we're there already. We're just waiting for you to catch up. Mm, sensational. Sensational. But that's the thing. Sensational. The, you see, that's that's the thing. That's the problem with Americans. Americans are very boxed in. They're saying, "Let's see, this is this must be the only sound that's playing because it's from us and and others and others." Because they feel like they run the music industry. Gandhi, when you go to Europe, they like hearing our sounds. They like hearing my piano. They like hearing deep house. I'm sure they like hearing quite when it was popping back in the day too. They like ah, all they different love sounds. African sounds. They love all different sounds. Nigerian Afro beats, very how yes. Afro beats took the world uh, by storm. So they love. All I'm not even a lie. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I I, I want to say this. I think, I think South Africans, especially most of us, are sleeping on Afrobeat, bro. No, Afrobeat is fire. 
no, 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 we're not sleeping no, on this. No, we're not. We're not sleeping on this. We have our own shit. That's the difference. Yeah, <laughs> we're not okay. sleeping. We have our own shit. About okay. Zonke, okay. Yeah, Zonke, 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 that oh is, yeah, 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 yeah. Still your soul. Because th- that's your... that was that was that's what Drake was doing. Now he's now opened the gates for for our house producers to now wake up again and start pushing for work. That's that's all I I actually care about with this album is that as much as he was changing. Oh yeah, and then he put on he put on waffles. He put on that Uncle Waffles ah! girl in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is she on the album? No, 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 no. Oh okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't really. Yeah, he did put her on, but. In a in a hype in a hype man way, instead of like in a musical way where he's uh, plugging her music or anything, he's just hyping her that soon to info that she's dope and all that shit. That's fine. But with this album, I understand that he brought to play coffee with him. He's like, yeah, in we're expanding this sound because I- I piano guys is fucking taking the world by storm. It's just that of course they're always gonna like fucking block us and try to dilute what we have. Before they throw it out to the world, they're trying to make it acceptable for them before they throw it out. Because like a few months Generic. ago, yeah, last year I think Georgia Smith um came out with this EP called "I'm a Piano to the World," and everyone's like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa hold on, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right." What do you know yeah. about it? And it was also diluted. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So at least Drake went and got someone who's who's uh, a a Grammy Award winning sensational because that's who who black o- who black coffee is a Grammy Award winning producer. He went and got a uh, Grammy Award nigga. winning house producer to pull this shit together. But guys, actually, this whole Drake album and everything really did inspire this week's top five. Top five, top five, top five. In my head. Mm. In my head, when I first heard the album and all that shit, I was like, I he's on some vibe things. He I really wish he did speak more of his fuckboy shit on this stuff. I won't lie. He should have, but anyway. In this week's top five, it's my top five Drake vibe songs. So any any song that Drake has made with a vibe with it, whether it's Caribbean, whether it's uh Egyptian or whatever, you know, Drake does a lot of different vibes, but it must be vibes, must be yo, yo, you know what I'm yo, saying? Oh, so. So, so you t- you're talking about like top five like non hip hop adaptations where Drake does something out the box, just the vibe, yeah. vibe in J. Whether it's Caribbean, whether it's Afro beats, whether it's whatever it can be, whether it's uh European, it has to be a vibe. Forgets American hip hop, forgets eight oh eight, forget all that shit. All right, right. At number five, I have. Okay, okay, okay. Let me. I'll hear. Stop right. with it. Yeah, you edit in the honorable mentions. At number five, I have Passion Fruit from More Life. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. Perfect. I'm not even going to call it elevator yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. It's cooler five. box music. Cooler box music. Sensational. Anyway. Sure, sure. Then number four, I have Blem, also of More Life. I'm Blem Thank for real. You. I was going to say that. say how I feel. How I feel. Yeah. I know. Joints. Mm-hmm. That was a joint. Mm-hmm. So now we're getting into serious territory, and I know I can easily get killed for this. I'm not adding anything from the new album because it just dropped on us. Like uh the doo in Dubai. Anyway. Sensational. Number three. <laughs> oh, wow. Sensational. 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 No, no, sensational. Number three. I know I'm gonna get killed for this, but this song in 2016, I heard, bro, not even 2016, three bro, years that, later, that, I heard it at a party, and Who's... the girls went crazy. When at the beginning of the song it goes, maybe like okay. Uh, okay, that's not dance. bad. Actually. One that's dance off bad, of you. You go, you're doing good. You're doing good. That's my you're number three. Not bad. I thought you were gonna say something else. No, you you redeemed yourself. Yeah, no, right. I can I can take that as a third. Right. So one turns I have at number three. So for number two, I have controller off of views. Ah yeah, controller, ah, yeah. controller. controller. Ah, I dig it. Yeah, I like this so far. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is That's this what... is number one. But okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Number number one. One. That's why I'm like number one. I thought about it carefully and I had to understand that 
the views, the views vibes were too strong for me to put them underneath this one. But this one, bro, I will never forget my first year of fucking varsity. Summer 16, for, for Americans, it was winter for us, but or the spring for us. But summer 16, fucking work. Work by Rihanna and Drake. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That wow. shit. Okay, here's where we can argue now. Okay, now. That shit for argue. me, that, that song for me did wonders <laughs> in first year. Wonders. Wonders. I ain't egg. You don't, you don't say this is number one. Mm-mm. No, it's Mm-mm. not. I'd move controller up. Be, up. Yeah, controller's number one, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Just vibe. The thing is, this is a Okay, thing. controller this is, is definitely number one. That's why I had to think I about think it so hard. I think the fact that you put, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the fact that you put work as number one, that's just PPM. That's PPM speaking because ah! people know that when we wanted the girl to just get right at the rave. But when we at the party and you want girl to get right, we play work and then you're both, yeah, it's yeah, it was yeah, when it gets down and you know they start twerking, they doing but the it thing. Was the fact that you put work as number one, that's PPM. Sensational. It PPM, was that's PPM. But I, I think, let me I knock it. Controller, bro. Hold on. Controller. Let, let me knock, let yeah, me knock yeah, work they down. Don't take my money. Let me, let me knock work down to number three. So let me quickly run through the top five, then we'll go through our honorable mentions. Okay, for our top five vibey Drake songs, I have at number five, Passion Fruit. Number four, Blem. Number three, Work. Number two, One Dance. And number one, Controller. 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 Honorable mentions. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Honorable oh, mentions. oh, oh, oh. If you let me, here's what I'll I do. do. do, 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 do. Hey, I'll hey. take care of you. Joints. Joints. I, too, I forgot too about fire. that. I forgot too about fire. that. I, too fire. You know another one? Too fire. You used to call me on my cell phone. Yo. You used to. You uh, used to. Bro, that broke the, he, broke the, he broke the internet there. I broke the internet bro, there. Bro, memeable he video. It. He broke it. He broke it. He broke it completely. Okay, this one is not really... It's not really on the it's not really on the vibey vibe things, but it's a different vibe. But you see what he did there with war. Yeah, it's not a vibe, my nigga. That's just true. Nah, but, but he That's American. I don't understand what your top five. I'm talking about vibe, vibe. dance, dance, dance. Oh, vibe. oh, so there's some dance things. Okay, Bruh, never no, mind. No, no one's gonna vibe, vibe to true. But- you, uh, Imak, are you gonna play? Are you gonna now. play war when a chick comes over, or when you have girls yeah. around? Hey, sometimes war. when you, no, so sometimes when you capping those cheeks, it is war, man. You never know, bro. You never aye, know. Aye, 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 aye. But Imag, another one. I, I know, I know, niggas are gonna overlook this one. You know that song, the one that he dropped with Khaled in twenty twenty. <laughs> Come me, hundred on the grease, yeah. Gucci stuppy, Louis stuppy, oh, Louis yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Vibe. Call me I mean, yeah, yeah, men's yeah, turned yeah, into yeah. the weekend real quick. Sensational. Easy, bro. Easy. Easy. Little I have fruit. another one. Um the, the joints with Tim's. Anna 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 something. The one on certified lover boy. Oh, I like yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I still but think wait, Tim's watched him there. Like Tim's. No, she didn't. What? She didn't. She really didn't. On that drawing. Oh. Hmm? Her verse. I want to hear nah, him. Nah, dude, man. That's it. Ah, uh-huh, bro. My man, I guess. I guess. I guess. I felt like my man hold his own there, but I guess. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. His fair shit with Beyonce. Y'all remember mine? I just want to say your man. Your mine. Mine. Yeah, I mine. Yeah. Oh, do you want to roll with a good mind. girl? Oh, that show was fire. Well, that, that show was fire. That show was fire. I forgot oh, about that. Do you know it's a vibe one? You know it's a vibe <clears> one? The one that dropped in 2019, dog, the, the one that Chris Brown. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Yeah, yeah that was. Ooh. But that's not a. Is that a vibe? No guidance. But that's like Drake R and B, though. Yeah, that's pop, pop, pop and B. Yeah. I know. Uh, listen, guys. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Let me fuck your love. This is 2018, right after the Pusha T beef. And but that miss me, yeah. 
Mia, and a nun and this Mia, Mia. You don't know that joins with Bad Bunny, or I forgot which. I I hope it's Bad Bunny. Otherwise, I'm being. He has a song with Bad Bunny. I think it's Bad Bunny. Otherwise, I'm really being racist. Mia, that song is called Mia. I'm telling you. And then it's Mia. I don't know, bro. And then this is. It almost went diamond. This is PPM. This is PPM music, bro. What? Right. This the thing, PPM I think it has like over a billion views on YouTube, if I'm not wrong. Yo, 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 nigga, what about, what about, uh, Kiki, do you love me? No, no, I hate yeah, that song, but I, I get was... you. I but that's sudden, song. though. Yo. It was definitely, that's a vibe, that's a girl them vibe thing, isn't it? 50-50, but I get you, I get you, I get you. I get you. Even nice for what? Even nice for I, us. Is nice for us is, is is more to towards the to more towards the American R and B pop sound. All right, I think maybe yeah. I'm not understanding your top five, but I, I kind of get what you're saying. But there's there's some some leftover remainder things that I'm not feeling. But I, I hear you. Still. Yeah, it's just mostly songs that are not that don't sound American. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, but no, I think that's about... I have to think about this because think... these are most of the ones I skip, bro. When I'm listening to Drizzy, I skip these, bro. Like, the only time I listen to these is if there's this girl around, where I'm trying to create a vibe, and we're at the out somewhere. With this, you know, they are keeping you. I'm young, or oh, we're on the way, we're on the way to, we're either on the way to the groove, or we're on the way. Then I'm trying to create a little vibe or something. I'll put these ones on, but I hear you still. These girls, they just want to mm. take my money. They don't want me to give. Ah, that one, they yeah, are unanimous. Ah, yeah. That's the champion. Controller, controller that's the wins. Champion in, by far. Controller wins. In. But no, yeah, that's I mean, the champion by far. Speaking of, you know when something's the champion, yeah. bro. When all you can see the thing, Snapchat. Well, that was Snapchat back in the days. Now it's TikTok. But bro, memes on memes on memes and these what's these skits, bro. You see the niggas blasting it on the skit non-stop, bro. Non-stop. That's when you know that I ah, you've hit somewhere. I ah, you've hit somewhere. Nah, that's 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 for real, bro. But speaking of Drake, you know, whenever I listen to his um song with Jack Hollow on Jack Hollow's album, I always just skip to his parts number one. Damn. I I never listen to Yeah. 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 <laughs> I won't even lie. You watched I we went hard. <laughs> I won't we went hard, bro. We went hard. Bruh, like, he went harder than the floods in Durban. Jack Hollow came. Washed out of the floods in Durban. No, no, no. Bro, he washed them. Uh, he washed them. I am crazy, the boy. Wow. But Jack Hollow came, though. I, I won't lie. Jack Hollow yeah, yeah. held his own. Mm, mm, listen, mm, mm. listen. Yes. I'm going to down this. So listen. Jack Hollow, by no means. Jack Hollow is like the layman's rapper. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Hollow, but he's the layman's rapper. He really oh, is the layman's he's rapper. For, he's like the he's for he's, he's for like logic radio. that went successful. Nah, he's just for radio. He can rhyme. He's he's just rhyming as he can about the sauce and everything. But but when it comes to bars, uh, uh, he's he's lacking. Where's 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 Dude, say that line? I'll run it back. What's that line? What's that line? Ah, you see. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You see what Jack Hollow said? <laughs> my granddad will have a heart attack if I pull a hundred grand out. So I'm not gonna pull a hundred grand out. Make it stop. I can't get <laughs> that. That nigga doesn't that like it. That nigga That nigga whack. I oh, think about that line all the time. But niggas, as I was trying to say. Bro, and there's. I was, yeah, as I was trying to say about that song. Weird line. And, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. another thing, dog. Sorry, sorry. Like. This man kind of, that's why I said he's logic, he's logic with the sauce. Because he kind of reminds me of logic, bro. Because logic, at least logic at one point, logic had bars, but logic, st- his bars started to get a bit empty. Where he was just rhyming for the sake of rhyming. But logic yeah, on the but, rap thing, he had more flair. But he has logic a, lot is a bit of different. Weird... Logic is, is more technical. He can actually rap. Yeah, logic is a little happen. more technical. His content, like you said, his content just started subsiding after he had told us everything about his life and we didn't really give a fuck. And then... Oh. Jack, Jack Carlin is just boring. Je. Like, I'm sorry, guys. Ha, that nigga's boring. He doesn't rap about shit. 
He raps about nothing, bro. Like he, nothing. He raps about pulling a hundred grand out, so he's not gonna pull a hundred grand. Out. Out. <laughs> he's not gonna pull a hundred grand. The fuck, bro? It doesn't even mean, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what? He should have named hey, his. Bro. He should have named his album honestly, yeah, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. Oh man, but what but I was gonna mention gents. about mentioning that oh, song. Oh, yeah, get, get your joke off, get your last joke off. Man, like bro. Forgot it. I, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Forgot this joke. It's not sensational. Now nah, let, let me get to the point. Let me get to the point that I was making. The reason why I brought up that song is because when Drake says something about therapy sessions or therapy in the receptionist, whatever he's reading Forbes, or whatever. And I just thought I always think to myself, would see people who go to therapy are usually the worst human beings on planet Earth. I feel as if the more they go, the more they feel as if they can use the, the fact that they go to therapy as a shield or as an excuse as to, no, 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 I'm actually working on myself, but then they use it as an excuse to, to hide all the fuck shit that they keep doing. So they think, oh no, I'm healing myself, but all they're doing is basically just releasing all their feelings or t- people even lie to their therapist on top of that, just telling them the tea or whatever they want them to understand they, they, or they'd say whatever they want their therapist to believe and then they come back and be shitting people to us and say, but I'm still working on myself. I still have therapists. Bro, oh, I hate those people, bro. bro. I, I, I hear that, but I think I think the, the, like, the awareness, bro, because sometimes I feel like going to therapy, it's like going to a Barcelona Tiki Taka training camp for midfielders, bro. Because when you go to therapy, they start introducing these words, post-traumatic stress disorder, narcissistic, woo, 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 woo. And then, hey, bro, you get out in the real world and you start hitting niggas with those joints. And then it leaves niggas speechless because it's big words. And it shows that you have awareness. It just gives you extra space to be even more sensational. Bro, like if niggas want to be as most sensational as they possibly can, they should go to therapy. Going to therapy for for yourself. yourself. No, here's my thing. I get, I get, I mean, I get both of your points, but I also understand where's, and it, it, I'm annoyed sometimes as well when people like use the excuse of therapy, bro, you go to therapy because you're doing it for yourself. You're not going to therapy because you're doing it for other people. So don't use that excuse first and first. And here's another thing that I learned from therapy is that motherfucker, when you go there, um, there are most of the lessons you're going to learn or most of it, like you said, with post-traumatic what, 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 disorders, all these disorders. If you're smart enough or if your intelligence is awoken, or if you're not way awoke, I don't I hate woke people. In fact, because I think those are the ones who annoy us with the therapy line. If you if you're smart enough to realize what's it, you're not the only one going through the shit. You're, you're, you're like a you're like a, a teardrop in a fucking pond or it, you, you, you or in a, in, a, in, a, in a, like you're nothing. That's what therapy has taught me. Was, I am nothing in this world. Therefore, I should not be worried. All this bullshit that I keep putting on my mind is nothing. It's stupid. So when people use that excuse of, it's in a, oh, no, I went to therapy and I'm working my, on myself so that I can be a better person and present myself to, to other people. Hey, oh, motherfucker, that's the one thing that you were going to therapy to realize was vele, vele nenkinga. you fucked up anyway. And that the, the other thing that you must realize is everyone else is fucked up. So no one has time for your, your nonsense. No one has time for your little ideologies or whatnot. We can, you can share them in, in, in settings where it's comfortable, but don't press your fucking ideas on people. That's the problem with these people that, that go to therapy. Is they want to press what they learn on other people. You did it for yourself. You didn't do it for us. And that's what I was gonna say too. Thank yo, you for yo, that. yo, nigga, they, nigga came up with the haymakers, bro. Yo, was, you're was, so angry because I think you should go to therapy, my nigga. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo, nigga, so bad. Hey, bro, bro I was, this, this man just talked about therapy. My man went triggered. Hey, bro. No, 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 because he's, he's, uh, he's expounding on what I was saying. We'll see. No, the people who do that, I feel, okay, here's how I see what therapy is. Therapy is a place for you to vent, but not for you to solve your problems. It's just for you to Thank get you. it out. It's just for you to get it out so that it doesn't sit and fester in or manifest in right. your, your chest as 
resentment or until it turns into resentment. It's just a place for you, an outlet or an educated outlet clarity, for you to though. clarity, not really clarity, but it's just an educated outlet for you to say it out loud. Maybe even sometimes you might figure it out while you're saying it out loud. But the problem is that when people go there, they're not going there to fix themselves. They're going there to A, give the therapist the tea or B, try to uh, uh, see themselves as the as the victim in the situation of the most story. of the time. But what therapists always tell them is that I feel like 90% of therapists, I, I wouldn't even know this because I've never been to therapy, but I feel like 90% of therapists tell their patients about either being self-centered or narcissistic or there's just a certain thing that those specific specific people have or that's their main issue and then like kane said they will project i hate people who go to therapy so much they come and tell you these therapist terms i'm like but you're describing yourself so it's clear you're clearly just projecting thank you you, you're not understanding yourself. You know, you don't see how this thing is working or the, how the program should be working on you, but you're out here telling it, teaching it to other people so that they can work on themselves. Like, who gives a fuck, nigga? Bro, I've, I, you know, when I was younger, before university, I always thought that I was going to be a therapist until I realized I don't give a shit about other people's problems. Damn. It's like, you now all you, all you motherfuckers tissue. are crazy. Now all you motherfuckers are crazy. Once I got oh. to the, <laughs> once I got to the age when I was, once I got to the age where I saw everyone was crazy, I was like, nah, I can't do that shit. Mm-mm. But my thing is, my thing is with, 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 with what you were saying is that very, with, with the problem that I have with most people that go to therapy is that most of them don't fucking need it. And that's the one thing that they don't admit. They don't admit, sorry. Therapy is an elitist activity now. It's not, the people who actually need therapy don't get therapy. Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. The people who have access to therapy abuse therapy. And then they throw it in everybody else's faces like we give a fuck. These rich motherfuckers, these rich kids who go to therapy and whatnot, we get, you're going to therapy for, for, for acting like an asshole or for acting like a little bitch in life. Everything was given to you. You, you don't have a reason to, to be crying or to be whining half the time, but you, here you are. There are people who actually deserve therapy. People who have been going through real shit who would love a situation where they would sit down and actually get to like have actual skills that they can take home and use so that they can actually better their lives because of either impoverishment or whatever, abuse, whatever, things differ for every, for every person. But here we are, like I say, with the elitist movement where people want to, that's why I'm annoyed most of the time with therapists because I believe it's the people who can afford therapy who don't actually need it. Bro, therapy is the new church. Tra- straight up straight up because remember church used to be a place of place of refuge where you can find solace where you can find community on top of that and then as the years went by or as the centuries went by if you want to go that far but as the years went by it just turned into a fashion show who's wearing what who's pulling up uh, like church what? is a new strip club now Ow, church is bro. where you go to throw bands sensational Th- that's that's what therapy is becoming now <laughs> Therapy is a private dog. That's true, though. Instead of, instead of getting titties, you're going to get niggas fake waking up from death. Sensational. Th- therapy is a new <laughs> private dance. Rest, rest before we do rest, rest. Whoa. Because you pay for it, whoa. don't you? He's right. He's right. No, he's right. Take layers off. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Sensational. Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. Bro, but uh, hey, bro, but yeah, that would be a fire business venture, man. If you'd have like Thai therapists where your therapy ends with a happy ending. Bro, Ooh. you see niggas going to therapy in huge numbers now. Nah, but then that'll create a sex addi- addiction, and then you have to get therapy for the sex addiction on top of that. And nah, 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 nah. <laughs> hold up, hold up. There's a reason why brothels existed, guys. <gasps> mm. Bro, mm, sensational. Bro. Sensational. Sensational. People know you. <laughs> <laughs> sensational. <laughs> I understand where this nigga's going. <sighs> Bro, <laughs> this man. This is why that's the oldest business. Yes, I only it's just realized back. now. We've been, been selling pussy cheap. before we sold water. Mm. Brothel is not about selling cheeks. It's about therapy with happy ending sessions. Matter of mm. fact, exactly. it's not even a happy ending. It's therapy 
while you're getting the happy ending. Tabang. It's true. Because Get home. Not- you don't want to even slap your wife. You're not thinking about all these stupid things that all these other niggas have been doing. You don't want to do stupid things. You, you don't have time to be angry when you just came, dog. Hey, bro. And, I, and I also sometimes you do, bro. Wait, but also you pay for your time. Up a storm. But you also pay for your time. Like you're doing a therapy session. You pay for the time. Ooh. They listen to you more. Exactly. The more you pay. Exactly. Mm. <sighs> Only fans, bro. Only fans. Yes, this makes me look. Yes, Yo, for s- I for Sims. I for I, Sims. I, I, for I, Sims. I, facts. I will, bro. They ain't no real nigga that's going to pay no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But speak- he's online. Man. But speaking of Sims, let's get into this week's Simp of the Week. My Simp of the Week this week has to go to none other than Michael B. Jordan. So sad. Ay, ay, ay. Wee, Thought I forgot, huh? <laughs> wow. Oh, damn. I don't even know how they split with Laurie. I don't know what happened. I don't know who splits with who. Apparently. But, apparently allegedly. Allegedly and apparently the nigga wanted to cuff her and she wasn't ready to to to, to get tied down. She still wanted to be in the streets. She belongs to the street. Mm. Bro, mm. like the way mm. Steve Harvey is clowning him. I saw him tweet the meme, um, respect yourself, my G. I'm like, hey, what up, cheetah, bro? What's wrong with the with, with the uncle? Like, what's wrong with Uncle Steve? But the, number one, that's but, fine. Cl- clown him all you want. But number two, why didn't you do that to future then? Because he, he would never do that to Future. He knows who the fuck Future is, bro. Come on. <laughs> hey, bro. But, okay. I just so- think, you know what I think? I think it's because mm. they ended it because of Future did fuck shit. Most probably. Most probably. We wouldn't know. But you're saying that uh, the rumor was that he wants to marry her. And then she was like, yeah. Nah, and jump ship. Ah, that's yeah, heavy, that's the rumor. Some heaviness. That's the rumor. But what do that's- you expect, bro? What that's do you the thing from a but, girl that just came from future. No, but but that's but that's what uh, Kane and I have been dis- have been discussing this week. If you cannot handle a baddie, leave her alone. Do not cuff Bavaria. Uh, you just recently tweeted this like two days ago. If you cannot handle niggas, leave the handling the baddie. Handling a baddie that's another that's another skill set together. But it's this thing that niggas it, this and and this is rooted in PPM. I swear to you. And for those of you who don't know what PPM is, this is poor penis management where you make decisions with the wrong head. But anyway, this thing, niggas date the girls that they should just be having fun with. Sensational. Sensational. That's no cap. Because, and, 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 and this is kind of like, this is kind of the gaslighting thing that's been going on now where like popular media and Galdem and all types of things, they're fighting back saying, my sexual history and my sexual past doesn't matter. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying. And I'm like, okay. I never really argue it because I'm like, okay, I'll let you have it, but I peep game. <clears throat> I'll let you have it. I'm not going to say anything about it, but I know in my mind, it's high, bro. This is a pit stop. Hi, this is not the end of the race, bro. This is not the finish line. This is a pit stop. That's, I just need it. My tires change quickly. <laughs> then I'm on the road again. Because I niggas want to make a pit stop, a bed and breakfast. They want to make it a holiday home. Aye, bro. bro Aye. You're Another renting, thing that's you're also talking. happening. Another thing that's also happening. I get the used property one, right? Because maybe those huns are fire. But another thing that's also happening, and I want is this is poor penis management to so the highest fucking level. Niggas, are, I don't know who's brainwashing niggas into believing that these mid huns are the way. Me? And another thing that I want to tell you about these mid huns, these mid huns, son, they are way more toxic than these, than your Lori Harvey's. You know why? Mid huns have a point to prove. Facts. Ooh. And also, and also, bro, mid hands have low barrier to entry. Anyone can Dang. play, bro. Mm, Matter right. of fact, now, now that you deep it, if you deep it like this, yes, it girls are, 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 are just off. It goes off. But if you're done with money, right, especially in like South Africa, if you're done with money, it girls are actually are not that bad. And, and I'll, I'll substantiate where, where I'm coming Thank from. Thank you. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Let me substantiate. If you've got guap, 
when she leaves you, she can only go to seven other niggas, right? Because you are such a high level don yourself. There's not that many of you. So what tends to happen is that they keep getting traded around. Versus your girl who's a mid girl can just be picked up by umchita from down the street. Anyone, anyone. Anyone, Jay. First. Anyone can slice there. And I need niggas to understand. I'm not advocating for it, girls. I, I still hold the fact that, hey, stop stop dating people you're supposed to just be having fun with but if we're going to look at it from a comparative stance if you've got all your your things together bro the pool that she can jump and dip from is really smaller because like this thing that red pool niggas always talk about this hypergamy bit is actually sometimes a benefit because when you are a guy who's on your thing there's not many places she can jump from or jump to I also, I also feel, I also feel no. as if we're in like this weird, I don't know, we're in this in between phase where it's modernization versus primal instincts. So mm, when, mm. when modern shit happens, or when okay, let's just say the modern uh, aspect of this thing of saving a hoe is that okay, her history needs to be forgotten. If you're with her, you must treat her like she's the best thing on planet Earth. Which you should be doing because if you're going to cuff someone, you have to treat them like the best thing on planet Earth, but you shouldn't cuff exactly. them in the first place. Like you shouldn't yeah, cuff them in the first place if you know that if basically, their history is long. Right. That's one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, when you do that, you, you're feeding a tenderpreneur because you're giving them the contract and they can't fulfill it. Mm. Now, bro, it's like, yo, I've given you the full budget and now, hey, you're going to blow it. Because... There's also this argument that I don't rate of niggas cuffing women but not giving them the full treatment. Like, if you've given them the contract, pay them in full. Don't now give them the contract and half pay them. No, you gave them the contract, pay them in full. But the problem is, hey, bro, you gave the contract to get yeah. again because it's, it's in the premiere. That's why yeah. the project didn't get finished. But yeah, that's also like a uh, situation specific or person specific as to the finer details of how they go about that. But then there's that. Yeah, that have to forget. There's that we have to forget the person's history. And then come the primal instinct of, I need a pretty woman to reproduce with. Then today, everyone fucks that whole thing up in their head of, she's a pretty woman, rap sheet. And niggas are like, fuck the rap sheet. She's pretty anyway. Let me reproduce. And then you're going to keep producing ah, the same no. nonsense that's, that's been killing you the whole time. Extreme Dead. PPM. Extreme poor penis. Extreme men. PPM. And, and, and you know what, bruv? I actually, I actually, I've been thinking about this. Like, even the way we have these conversations just show how damn bad we are. Because, like, when niggas are talking about Kian, we, we like to talk about how hot they are. And when women talk about niggas, they want to talk about how money niggas are, right? And th those are pretty good things to talk about or pretty good values to have. But the problem is this. Sex, beauty is associated with sex. Money is associated with provision. When you just look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, those are just the most basic things ever. To me, a hot hun is just the 30% pass mark. That's just a prerequisite for us to get in. What else do you have going on? That can't be the be all and end all, my gents. How? You have strategically paced fat. Your fat just goes to the right places and your face is shaped nicely. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> you're strategically placed. BBL. <laughs> <laughs> And also for Kiel, that's why even for Kiel, that's why you that's why she wears her shirt and when she's done she passes it to the next player bro yo that's bro. mad and just to cap all of that off yo it's I'll I'll actually find the clip we don't even have to sing the simping part but I'll find the clip where we sang the simping song we need to I forget, I even forgot the word whether it was baptize or what but yeah I'll baptize it is baptize them Michael BJ very baptize Michael BJ ha BJ Huh, pause. He said he was gay. So what? Mm. I know he needs to get he needs to get the simple of the week. The simple of the week. Mm. You know mm. what's funny? You know what's funny though. I I'm, I'm I feel like Steve Harvey because Steve Harvey knew this was gonna happen. Because I remember he was on the Ellen show, right? Like two weeks or two or a month, like after we all found out that um uh uh, uh he's he's dating her, and then. He was doing, he was telling, Steve Harvey was telling stories about how he came over to the house. He was buying them gifts. He was doing some, 
And I just remembered one simp ass nigga that I know who did the exact same thing. And the way that Steve was telling it, Steve was, Steve was, here's another thing about, I know about Steve. Steve is a bitch ass nigga. Damn. But like, he acts like he's a real nigga. Like, Lamchita was being sny about it. He was like, yeah, we gonna see where it goes. We gonna see where it goes. I'm like, nigga, you can already tell. You you already know, cause you know your daughter. You know what she's like. But you know what you can't she can say do. it out loud though. And he should yeah, say it out loud. I, 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 you know what? You know what? As much as I get what you're saying, but it's like this is sometimes this thing about blind loyalty to the man. Because when it's your daughter, there's no loyalty to the man. You're gonna look after your daughter first. But the problem is, of course, it's like it's a press. It's a press release thing. But bro, I think at this point, umuntu ya funda, bro. Niggas are gonna learn the hard way because we keep telling them, "Buti, hey, be careful of hey, I wanna res- hey, Dora the Explorer, hey, about Dora the Explorer, a problem, bro. Dora the Explorer, problems, bro, because they've explored everything. I don't know, in my in no way where the where the girl has done what's it called? Ah, what's it called, bro? This this chick chowed the, the pops and she chowed the sun. Ah, hey. bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Did he, dog? Did he? She chowed Diddy and she chowed. She chowed the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. She belongs to the street. <laughs> <laughs> Future is the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Future is the, <laughs> the Holy Ghost. Okay. She chowed the father and the son and the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. 80. 80. Oh. <laughs> can I can I just say something say, though, just to... the man himself said himself said how I be street I'm a poster with demons ah oh, because he's he's exorcising those demons <laughs> yo Lord reach out the the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost damn I think we have a, a I title don't know for the episode I, uh, I don't know though I don't know though what my like just to I'm trying to wrap my head around. Why, why do niggas love these hands? Why are they trying to make honest women out of these women? Like, you know her past. What's your point? And the only thing that I can deep is, the only thing I can deep is, or I can get to is, it's some stupid masculinity shit. Niggas think by reeling in the biggest dog, they can now, mm. oh, it's going, to, it's going to get them the biggest points or some of the other dogs are going to want to sniff them as well. You understand me? They think it's it's attractive to be able to control the hottest but commodity bro, that they can't even control. Oh, bro, come on. These hands are like the stock market, bro. They jump up and down. And then, hey, bro. And then when they reject you, hey. Bro, you know gone. what? That whole thing, dude. I just think... I'll say it again, niggas are going to learn because this whole thing of you're going to take people no matter what they've done, whatever, man, man, it's just, it's, it's, it's just mad, dude. It's just, it's, it really is mad because it's like you see a drug dealer or a druggie, someone who has a history of drugs and you're going to make them a pharmacist. I don't need to tell you that that's a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you giving this motherfucker, like, free drugs on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, you giving this motherfucker high on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you, and then you get surprised when your Prada isn't making her high no more and she go find another, the next dealer. You stupid mm. ass motherfucker. You gave it out, nigga. But like, but like, Bavaria, but like, Bavaria said, it's like this false sense of masculinity thing because it's like a everyone everyone wants a, a fuck you over someone else weirdly enough so if you couldn't even do it on your own you always have to have someone watching you while you do something so it is hey bro we should just call this, this episode honestly for second sensational that's that's how everyone <laughs> <is>. <laughs> people people honestly, what people is for sick right. bro like that's how people live they're like ah, okay, cool. but, but please fuck you oh, people if, are living if they fuck see especially Especially in this situation here or in this context where they see what's okay, show this every guy wants this person or every guy wants this girl. Let me go get her. That's not what you do. You have your fun and you dip. You don't cover them. There's a huge difference. Dog, I never. Bro, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, why would you want to turn a, an Airbnb into your house? Mm. Sensational. Overstaying your and Sometimes, Sometimes you got to win the finals once or relax to the next season, dog. What I'm saying is get your trophy and get the fuck up out of there, bro. Like, mm. so, get your bro, ring. Bro. Get your get ring. Get your ring, bro. Get up out of there. Oh, even, even if, if I, I hit you, what you part, part of, of my collection? collection. <laughs> oh, bro! You see? We are, yo, 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 uh, 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 uh. Sensational. Sensational. <laughs> sensational. 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 Very sensational. Oh, man. I, the Holy Spirit is in the building, man. The Holy Spirit the Holy is Ghost. in the building. Niggas are even singing gospel. <laughs> the Holy Ghost. AT, ATL, Jacob, ATL, Jacob. Sensational. Oh man, yo man. But I think you know what the teachable lesson from this is, bro. Masano Tandis in the buffet. Stop liking things too much. Enjoy, you know. Drake Drake said it best. Drake said it best. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know. I, I, bro. Drake doesn't oh, fumble that one, bro. Go in there and leave. Stop trying to do too much. You're doing too much. Some of you are doing too much, way too much. If and right I now, would... the climate, the climate yeah, is yeah. very harsh on niggas who do too much, bro. I, the climate has never been harsher, bro. I'm doing too much now. I, bro, ah, you'll be sick to your stomach, bro. You'll vomit blood if you do too yeah, much now. Yeah, I just don't yeah, care. That's, that's, that's kind of like an, an unspoken thing. The, the guys that do too much are now suffering. It's just that they'll try to suffer in silence. They won't really but you know what? Though. You gotta start acting exclusive with the dick, bro. God, bruh. Wait, niggas, can I ask you niggas a question? Because I've been deep in this. I mean, I've been deep in this. Where are we putting Russ? Because I've been looking at this Russell thing and I can't make my mind up, right? Obviously, I don't know the nigga. I don't know what him and Russ? Sarah got going on. Oh, Russell Wilson. Yes. Oh. Yes. When I look at him and I'm like, is this brother? Is this brother doing too much, or is he doing enough? And that we the ones who just think because Sierra, her situation is kind of similar to to Olka. What's her name? Because Sierra did fifty and Bow Wow and all these hood niggas, and now suddenly she wants a square done. I'm like, yeah, no, people no, 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 can no, no, change. No, 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 no. It's exactly what you said. You said this before, right? Certain girls <clears throat> can only play in certain fields. That nigga's a baller. That nigga's a footballer. Like, he making real cash, real dope. He's a real, like, there's certain women that will only change for a certain type of nigga. You understand? Where Right. She, co- let me, let me, let me explain the difference between Michael Jordan and this nigga. What's his Michael name? Uh, Russell Wilson. The difference between those two niggas. Right, right. Never mind, it was a joke. <laughs> Michael Damn. BJ. Damn. Oh, oh. Eesh, Damn. Oh, oh, BJ. Damn. Oh, 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 even get Nagunanga with fame, they're on the same fucking level. Oh, Russell Wilson, but him land to Sierra isn't as I say deeper. Let's just be oh, my wife, like your future, impilian deep. Oh, no, now, oh, Lori, oh, Sizo, Uti, Vele, Vele, Bubba, Bam, Nandi, yeah, yeah. And yeah. here's what I, another point I want to make. Oh, Lori was she knew she knew that OPJ was her, 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 her come up. Oh, 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 you see what I'm saying? No, 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 she was the come up. No, 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 BJ was her come up. Boss, exactly. Oh, sensational, sensational, boss, sensational. He was a come up. So, with the dip, the difference with him, or Russell Wilson wasn't the come up. Russell Wilson actually came to came to that woman, fixed her. I'm I'm not gonna lie. He, that nigga fit, he got it, he got that woman together. That's it. I'm trying. She listens to him. Okay, like and to get, and to get because he put his foot down. Okay, yeah. 
yeah and also to to not get too serious but also serious at the same time like yeah the difference with russell wilson is that man's just being a man he's just being a normal he's man. a man he's, he's a man a normal That's man the now everyone like, now it's down. it's because we've seen sierra's uh relationships in public and also she came from future so now she already has that tag on her that future stamp on her but then he's just being yeah, a normal if you're man here to watch my collection yeah, but then he's just being a normal man and he's just doing what he needs to do. Vele, he quoted her. A lot of other niggas will also wife chicks that have been passed around. We've seen it 24-7. Yeah. And it'll continue till the end of time. But with Sierra, it's a bit different because it seems like she reciprocates. And I feel like we spoke about this before. It seems as if she yeah, reciprocates it's, it's the energy. The reciprocation. Yeah, so yeah, as long as she yeah. reciprocates the energy, there's no something there. Man's just being a, a man about it. He's handling his business. I, I'm not worried about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think niggas, sometimes niggas just get turned on by, by giving people the bare minimum. Like niggas enjoy seeing a nigga who's being too sensational. But Russell is just loving his woman. Which, like I said, if you give someone the tender, pay them for the tender. Like if you give someone the contract, perform your side of the contract. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. This is the Russell joint. This other nigga, bro, you know Megan Good's nigga. Megan Good's nigga that she just divorced, bro. The what dude. are we saying about him? Because he was kind of similar to Russell's joint. Because this is where the head scratcher is for me, right? And I'll preface it by saying this. People can change. Obviously, people can change. People can be mad men and gal can be on the streets and they can change and they can put themselves together and come home and be good to a nigga. But I just think that's a high risk. I, it's a high risk investment, bro. I'm not even going to cap with you. But it's always very, very, uh, 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 not ironic, but it's interesting how they all change at the ages of 25 to 30. Yes, one can say, okay, no, Vele, in life you grow and as you get older, you get wiser. But why is it that if as you get older, you get wiser, from 25 to 30, it's suddenly settled down time and then from 40 to 40 or 40 to 50, then it's divorce time. There's something, bro, I don't know, around. bro. You niggas hearing what I'm around. asking. Bro. She's looking around. She sees, she's looking at her friends. She's looking at her family. She's seeing people in her family do things. Oh, her so-and-so is getting married. Oh, your sister's getting married. Your cousin. Get... Women are like that. Trust me. They, they look around. Yes. They feed off of everything yes. else that's around them. Yes. We don't give a shit. We'll get married like 50. I don't give a fuck. And why? Because it's, I'm ready. So I'm get ready. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. But I also don't want to get all stereotypical. Let me also just be wild with it. As much as yo, as much as you are, or as much as they are, like busy looking at the people around them. At the same time, it's a thing of, eh, let me try it. At the end of the day, that's true with, as well. That is very true, especially with these chicks with money. It's just eh, and these dudes with money. It's like, eh, let me just try it. Let me try this marriage thing. That's why these celebs always get married so easily and so quickly. It's because it's like, well, I've done everything else. Let me just try this. You'll eventually get out of it because as much as it is a difficult process, but your pain threshold is now through the roof. So you're going to now try to top that when you're going to try fuck up your own life or when you're going to try something else. So it's just a matter of just trying something that's something that they've fetishized. No, I hear you. You know, something that they've dreamt of. Yeah, it, 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 it's also okay. person specific, situation specific. It is what it is. But to me, bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I just knew that Megan Good situation with the, the church nigga. You don't, you don't fuck with all fifty cent and real hood niggas, bro, and then go to a church boy afterwards. Like, just just something. What did we say about what did we say about dudes at the church? Dudes from the church collect all the all the the. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Bro, and that just speaks to just the nature of... It's like, as a gent, you don't get to be in poop. Like, you really don't get to be inexperienced in this game, bro. You get cut because. hard if you're inexperienced. Because if a Dahan is inexperienced, yes, some niggas will dribble you. But these niggas are willing to take you under the wing and, and make sure you get patterned up right. But a chick is not willing to do all that unless she's like way older. And she's looking at you like a Ben 10 kind of thing. That's the only time where she'll take you in and give you some ism. But most times women just want a nigga who's already built in with the ism. Because even look at sex, bro. Niggas will take at shit sex from women and you'll be like, all right, do this, do this, do this. And then you'll be like, yeah, now you're in my collection. Bro, you do, you give some bad dick one time, you're never seeing this hun again. And all her friends are going to know 
and she'll close all the angles that you possibly would have had with all them other gear. So, bro, like when you hit it, bro, I, you need to, you need to think like that, bro. You need to be fire. You need to be on it because you're even blocking all your future contracts. Bro, and also, hey, and also at the same time, it's like simping is now the new normal. And I don't mean simping as in oh, from the man. internet definition. I mean, it's a lifestyle. It's, it's you see oh, actually, like giving giving the most to get the least pretty much because we've now been raised not even raised but we've been taught that pain or being re- or rejection is supposed to be normal for us type thing so for us it's like we have to keep getting rejected or keep getting thrown under the bus for us to actually try harder we're supposed to be working hard at something that's supposed to be reciprocal so we, we it's kind of they're trying to kind of ingrain that shit in us but at the same time there's True. too many because even there's this thing now that is he paying my bills? Oh, send back. Uh, nah, 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 nah. You see, with that, you see, no, no, no. He has, you see, with that, that's my my biggest issue with that specifically is that these chicks that are inside are now trying to take the tactics of the women that are outside and trying to t- uh, bring it in or use it as their own. So now they're talking about bills and whatever, whatever, but then they're sitting at home doing nothing. These chicks that are outside are actually fucking these niggas and talking about bills and they deserve them because they're actually fucking these niggas. These ones are just saying it just for saying it and now they feel entitled. Oh, households. Households. Pretty much. They act like they're all, they all... Yeah, they act like they're all about it but they're really not. Exactly. Wanna be much G's, whatever you want to call them. It's the same and thing. Another thing. It's the same... Hold on. Another it's the same thing with fuckboys. Fuckboys, they can't necessarily get women off of their natural personality so they have to create a persona so now they're taking the uh um attributes of a chad but then they're not necessarily the slickest at getting that so they have to combine that shit mm. in order to to get what they want specifically yo bro, yo bro. bro i said this i said this this morning i said we're literally living in the revenge of the sims and the nerds bro <laughs> All the simps and the nerds are out here right now and they're trying to do and what's the one thing like you guys said inexperience oh. is one thing at this yeah, age you, you get- spend do the most on one piece of one piece of ass for what? about nowhere's air show. You're getting denied, it's rejection. You're not getting the picture for them. It's bro, I believe. With the Revenge of the Sims, the one thing that they want is control over anything is control because mm. they themselves have never been able to control either themselves or any situation in J- Japan. Mm. So now they're now they're using it. They're using whatever leverage that they have, little bit of leverage. Oh, you make a lot of money. Oh, no. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, you're famous for inventing this. Oh, you're famous niggas. for doing that. Oh, that's, you know what that's I'm saying? That's why they're only so shooting for... That's why the only truth. Niggas, I just realized something. I just realized something. Sims are like PSG in 2017. Up until 2017, the market was all right, man. We were doing good business, but then they came in and they put 220 on the table for Neymar for one man. Yes, sir. It is exactly (laughs) the same thing. And then every other player. Every other player thought that they were at that value too. So continue and then their value started something. shooting up. Yeah. Because if you think about it, bro, especially in South Africa, bro, it actually does, it is a transfer market. Because Ilobola, yep. bro, is your release clause. Sensational. Transfer fee. Transfer fee. Transfer fee, bro. Transfer fee. Come on, bro. Yeah, bro. Only the prenup is a release clause. Agents Sorry, the prenup is already oh. closed. Sensational. Oh, Ooh, prenup. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's true. Sensational. Mm, that's sensational. Bro, sensational. And and think about it, bro. Think about it, bro. Would you pay top, 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 top dollar for a nigga who like like Balotelli, who has gone to all these different clubs and failed at each and every club he went to? Does it make sense for you to pay a top release clause for Balotelli? No, it doesn't, bro. You need to get Balotelli on a bargain. You get Balotelli on a loan. And if it works out, we'll mm. see if we extend it. Now niggas mm. are taking Balotelli's on a full contract for 200 million. 
This is why the game why? was messed Cause up. Why? Because he played one UEFA Champions League. In there was oh, a one bro. time, bro. No, no, no it's, not even, it's not even about what he played. It's about how he looks, bro. He does Rabona flicks and step overs. That's why. Because he looks nice, bro. Oh, boy, no. Oh, boy, no. Bro. Yazi. Yo, 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 deeper, dog. It's even worse. Uh, the transfer, <laughs> the transfer window is during December. <laughs> so sad. Because yeah. even if you had a club, December, <laughs> worst time, December, bro. The transfer. Ah, oh, another one. The winter transfer window is during the Durban July month. For the last week in Durban July, yeah, I should. I plan, mo- as I keep they're plan, moving I up plan. and down, but, but no. Nah, like, so I'm alone. Like, so I'm alone. Like, I'm alone, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's no basically compensation. To buy. Basically, compensation for a lack of, and they'll enter that blank space. But you know how I feel Ish. about all of this shit. Honestly, for second, sensational. That's just how I feel about all of this shit. <laughs> Honestly, for second. <laughs> Honestly, no, sensational, man, sensational. And uh, 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 before we leave, man, I just want to say, niggas, love yourselves, but it's it's turned in. A lot of you hey, niggas. Love yourself, my G. So sad. I, uh, no, love guys, yourself, love my G. Yeah. <laughs> I love yourself, my G. Love yourself, my G. Yazi. Ah, dude. Like, guys don't have self-love, man. Niggas need to get therapy. You're going to deal with all of this just because she doesn't even like you, dog. She doesn't even like you like that. Just because you ain't. Hi, no, love yourself, my G. Love yourself, my G. No, stop playing high release clauses for players who are always injured and on the bench. Damn. Ah, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm-mm. Trying to get shirt sales. Want everyone to come watch just because oh. they're a high, a high priority player. Whoa. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Mm-hmm. Because on you know what's going to happen. You're yeah, going to yeah. get a Lukaku. You're going hey. to pay all this money and then she's going to be thinking about the X. And all you do is watch the highlight Shh. reels. The li- niggas are literally paying for potential. That's all niggas are doing. They're paying for potential. Mm. All we're doing is paying for Ooh. highlight reels. We're busy paying for skill, skill, uh, what skill, uh, highlights and compilations. Skill, That's skill compilations. Skill compilations. And then, That's it. and then once you've paid that money, bro, you'll be hurting internally. <laughs> Sensational. Sensational. Alright, bro. Sensational and hey, 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 ex, hey, boy, Lukaku, hey, you'll finish. Yeah. A lot of you niggas will get finished, but get yeah. them moving like Lukaku. But as yeah, always, yeah. man, let's get out of here, man. As always, you know what this was, you know what this is, and you know what it's always going to be. This is the Let Me Mansplain podcast with yours truly, Fear Pereira, in your area. My sniper, okay. And once again, this was the world's most sensational podcast. Sensational. The Let Me Mansplain podcast where everything. 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 Everything goes. Just as long as you can mansplain it. We out, man. Love yourself, my G. Love yourself. Love yourself, my G. Honestly, for Sagan. Love yourself. Honestly, for Sagan. <laughs>